Hello Warning. guys, wait. This game contains the following. Themes of suicide and depression. Violence and other graphic imagery. Depictions of blood and gore. Uh, okay, hello guys, Hikiyami Moriko this, and welcome to another indie game. Uh, this one's called Otome Legends, and it has some warnings. Siege of warning. It has this more game warnings. contains flashing images. Individuals with photosensitive epilepsy should consult their doctors before playing this game. We will not be responsible for any medical damages. Well, that, that really sets the tone for the game, right? No copyright infringement is intended for the following production. Okay, let's go. So it's Ultimate Legends, right? Uh, has some cute sounds. But I'm kind of worried about those warnings. And uh, so yeah, this game was um, suggested to me by someone named Risa Chen. So thank you for suggesting this game. I hope it's a good one. And uh, the volume is kind of loud. Uh, that is. Let's go play the game. So it was a long time ago when I played that game. Back then I was just an unpopular high school girl that only could dream of being the most popular beauty in school. Okay, so I'm a high school girl for this, for this game. Naomi, Chihado-chan! A mysterious figure calls my name from behind me. Oh, hi there! Amogus! <laughs> so it's one of those games, okay? Okay. Oh, it's you! It's just Naomi. Um, come on, we know each other for like 10 years and you still can't tell me when I'm sneaking up on you? Sorry, I didn't notice you standing there. By the way, you heard about the new game that everyone's talking about, right? What game? Ultimate Legends. Everyone's playing it. My best friend Naomi has always been an, attack an Otome attacker. She's always talking about how her dream is to marry a prince one day. Well, that's the dream, right? Of course, I believe it's pretty far-fetched and childish, but at this point it doesn't really surprise me. She's been like this for ages. Ah, uh, come on. You know I'm not really into that stuff, right? Just try it for one day. Pretty please. I'll lend you my handheld Noni VSB? I guess like like a Nintendo 3DS. Uh, okay, final try it for one day, and if I don't like it, I'm giving it straight back to you. No. Well yeah, what's the harm on trading a game, right? For my precious friend. After school, okay. I don't know what to expect anymore after that Amogus, but I have to click. Uh, after that day, I went home and tried that new game that Naomi recommended me. I could have said no, but I decided that it was not worth listening to her constant nagging if I have done so. Well, that's also true. Uh, this better be good. And here is my... Oh, it's it's my... Oh, Noni for Sony. Oh, okay, it's a PSP. Okay. Or is it a... A beta? Looks like a PSP to me. Uh, I started the device and made a new save file. You know, this game is on point because... Uh, the, the premier console for, for visual novels, for Atomic Games, is, is PSP. Oh no, I'm late for school, Shoujo. A cute kawaii Shoujo runs over her house with an entire plate of curry in her mouth. What? Ah! Cute Shoujo girls bumps into a tall, handsome senpai. Ah, it's one of those games, okay. Hey, a mysterious figure appears in front of you. Watch where you're going, you got curry all over my face. Okay, I'm so sorry. And uh, the high school child looks at the time. Ah, I'm late. She runs to school. Okay. Surprisingly, you weren't late for to school after all. Oh no, I ran into a super cute Hoya and I ruined his face. What am I gonna do? Moteko-chan. It's your best friend, Yumeko. Why the long face? I got Korea all over some hot senpai's chin. Oh? Yeah, it's been booming all, all morning. Well, why not try to make up with him with a box of chocolates? That sounds like a stupid idea. <laughs> Great idea! I'll go avoid them and the vending machine during lunch and go apologize. The bell rings, it's time for class to start. Okay. After a bunch of long boring lectures, I find it time for lunch. Finally, time to go buy chocolate. As you walk to the vending machine, you spot a strange fear approaching you. Matsuga Senpai. Oh! <laughs> he laughs in an absolute ridiculous manner. 
Bonjour, mademoiselle. You dropped your handkerchief. Why is he speaking French? Blushes. Oh, thanks, I guess. The senpai looks at his watch. Oh, look at the time. I have to go now. Nice meeting you. Wait! The bell rings. Oh no, I ran out of time to buy the chocolate. Oh no, this is a disaster. Uh, it is not time for gym class. Hmm. And all the guys are flexing. Look at my muscles, you pants. No, mine. Mine are bigger. No, mine are cool and mysterious, better than yours. Okay. Oh my, they're all so handsome. You can't help but think to yourself that this game is absolute cringe. That's what I'm thinking. However, despite this, you find the game pretty enjoyable. But seriously though, what the hell is wrong with their chins? The next day. So? Naomi comes up to me eagerly ready to ask me about the game. So what? How was the game? <sighs> it was actually not too bad. I told you so. Yeah. Naomi looks at me mischievously. That that looks evil, but okay. Uh, you played the game online, didn't you? Naomi can see right through me. Uh, fine. It was actually really good, okay? Hey, <laughs> hey, I told you. I have good tastes for these sort of things, you know? Yeah, I guess. What's wrong, Chiharu? It's just that... I wish I were popular with the guys too. Oh. I'm not as pretty and popular as a typical Atome heroine, you know? Guys will never fall for someone as plain and boring as me. But I I, I think that's the charm of the of the Atome girls, right? They, they are kinda plain. But... You know? I'm not as pretty as you, Naomi. Well, who says you can get popular with guys? Excuse me? Well, that guy over there seems like he's been head over heels for anyone. Why not try asking for anyone? Okay, that, that doesn't make me feel better, but okay. What? Why would I do that? That's weird. Come on, I know you got it. You got it in you. My best friend pushed me towards the guy. Oh no, it's super nerd guy and for some reason it kind of looks like me. Except for the glasses, okay? That, those are nerd glasses. Oh no, what am I gonna do now? Uh, hello? Otaku. He looks at me with a night stare. This guy looks like a major attacker. Translation notes, Otaku meets nerd in Japan. <laughs> okay, this is a joke game. Okay, I have not no doubts anymore about this. I should say something before things get awkward. Uh, hi. Oh my god, what was that? That sounds so awkward. <sighs> Otaku gets up and walks away. I walk back to my desk and check the feeling of embarrassment. So how did it go? Bad. Well, better luck next time, right? Why did you have to make me do that? It's for your own good. The bell rings, it's time for class to start. Alright everyone, open your books to page... Oh, oh my god! That's a lot of pages, what kind of book am I reading? Um, I stare out the window wondering when class will be over. <sighs> I stare back and play at the clock. How much longer? The clock doesn't seem to be moving at all. It's something weird gonna happen? Maybe I should take a bathroom break. I get up from the chair and walk out to the classroom. Man, I really need a break right now. I actually don't really need to go to the bathroom. Perhaps I should walk around for a bit and... Okay. So you're skipping class. Kinda. Uh, maybe I should go to the vending machine. Go to the vending machine? <gasps> The choices, let me think about it for a second. Okay, so if I go to the vending machine, I might get the, the same thing that happened in the game, I'm thinking, but if I continue walking, something different may happen and I want to see something different, so I'm gonna keep walking. Maybe another time. And uh, there's a noise coming from the direction of the bathroom. What was that? <laughs> What's going on? You know, I think that's a great look for you. Yeah, nobody likes a creepy nerd with glasses. The situation looks intense. Hey, give those back! Oh no, the taco's really cute, what the hell, man? Oh, uh, give me my glasses back. <laughs> what a crybaby. Crybaby, crybaby, crybaby. 
Anyway, let's bounce. I think we had enough for today. Smell you later, nerd. <laughs> the crowd dispersed. No, he, he's getting bullied. Oh no. It's best not to get involved with that. I ended up walking to the bathroom after all. That's a really yellow bathroom. Oh my god, what was that? I must have the worst timing on the planet Earth. Out of all the times to go to the bathroom, I picked the absolute worst possible time. But seriously, what was that though? Huh? What's this? Colbert. It's a coin. Well, never mind. I guess it's my lucky day after all. Well, I guess it's time to head back to class. Got to the vending machine? Got to the vending machine. This time I have enough coins to buy the melon bread. Oh, so I have to go walking anyway. Got it. I got the most the most stereotypical kind of bread in anime. What's this? I spot a pair of glasses in the garbage can. So cruel. Whew, I made it back to class in one piece. After class. Hello Chan. What Naomi? You know. I know what. That guy over there. What? <laughs> Naomi, no. Hey. <laughs> I don't know how to make those cute anime sounds, I'm sorry. And uh, you want me to go talk to him, right? Yes. Okay, fine. What do you mean to your antics? Decide to go have a friendly chat with Lon or Taku. Without glasses. I approach the strange Lon or Taku awkwardly. Hey. Yeah, hello. Wanna have lunch with me? I look away flustered. God, what am I doing? I have something I want to show you. Oh my god, that sounds kinda kinky. Okay. I decided to take him somewhere to have a private talk. The butterflies awkwardly sit in silence on the school roof. Uh, it's a very awkward situation. Anyways, I found this and I thought it might be yours. <sighs> I give him the glasses. He examines the glasses. He smiles. He finally puts on the glasses. <laughs> Famish, I take out of my bento box. Famish, I, I'm, I'm sure you had breakfast. You had curry for breakfast. Are you not eating? Here. I hand him the melon bread. He smiles. Ishida. What? That's my name. So his name is Ishida, huh? What a nice name. Isn't Ishida Uryu the word from English? That's what I'm thinking about. Uh, and so the two of us enjoyed lunch together in peace. After school. Well, looks like it's already time to go home. Can't wait to get home and play some more Otomo Legends. I sure can't wait. Howdy chan. Oh, hi now. How did it go? Oh, come on, could you stop bothering me about that guy for one second? Oh? He gave me his name. I knew you had it in you. Oh, look, he's over there, go say hi. Now, just kidding. Anyway, see you later, Shiharu. Or should I say, Ohimesama? <laughs> Translate. <laughs> oh my god, no. Translator notes, Ohimesama means princess. Now, <laughs> My best friend Naomi disappears in the sunset as she walks home. I guess I should go be heading out soon too. Home. I'm back at my bedroom. Time to start where I left off. P class has just begun. Today class is out in the fields. Looks like voice tracks is first. Oh, you peasants. Think you can rot me? Oh, please, I could have run you in my sleep. I could have run you with broken legs and both of my eyes closed. Just wait and see you, punk. You hear a cracking noise. It seems as the blonde air senpai cat that shot both his legs breaking him. <laughs> what? He also closed his eyes. Get ready. The race is starting. Mafura senpai takes the lead. His tight scarf chucks him on his <laughs> Okay? Matsuka Senpai takes the lead. He broke his chin. Impatsu Senpai is not taking the lead. He's running with his arms and hands. I don't think this will be safe until that's in real life. And we have a winner! Kimpatsu Senpai! Well, I guess the Kimpatsu guy ended up winning after all. Translator note, Kimpatsu <laughs> Can you stop with these translations? Haha, <laughs> I want you punks, now come fight me. 
I commend the voice actor who was willing to voice this script. It's just so bad, I want, I want to punch myself. Then stop playing the game. No, I, I'm playing the same game, right? I think I had enough for today. It's Wednesday, okay? And I'm really tired of school. Same. I just want the weekend... Uh, I just want the weekend to myself. Hello. It's her again. What? But we're in a good mood today. Do you know what day is today? What? It's... It's what? Wednesday. Well, we'll be the Captain Obvious. Who will have known? And... And what? Do you know what happens on Wednesday? What could possibly be? We know cleaning today? Is this another one of those ridiculous holidays that you always come up with? No. And you couldn't be any more wrong. Alright then, what is it? It's two months away from the sports festival. Is that what you're excited about? And... And... Today is the day we get to pick our assignments. Assigned sports. What is it, Hattie-chan? Oh snap. I dread this time of the year like the hours of the bubonic play. I'm not good at sports. I managed to chicken out last time by faking a call, but then I got in trouble with my mom and I wasn't really sick. I don't think she'll wait this time. You just have to break your legs. Hahaha, <laughs> is that so? Right, right. How could I forget about the sports festival? Come on, the sports festival only happens once a year, you know? It's definitely gonna win this time. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll win this one. Well... Well, what? Won't you be my partner from the three-legged -leg race? No, 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 no. Hmm? Now me looks puzzled. Oh, no, I mean... Oh, snap, how do I think my way out of this one? Every year before the sports festival now makes me train like crazy every day for weeks. I would say no, but... She tends to get really scary when the time of the year comes. Quick, I gotta think my way out of this one. Oh, I got it. Ishida! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think I can be your partner this year. What? But we're partners every year, look at the face. And you didn't even get to participate last year because you were sick, remember? Yeah, I know, but I was thinking about asking Ishida to the three-leg race with me. Oh, well, why didn't you say it sooner? <laughs> She's so happy. Alright, I guess I'll see you after class. But you have to promise me next year that we'll be partners, okay? Alright, so we're second years? Okay, alright. I'm glad I made my way out of that one. The thing about now is that despite the fact that she's excellent at sports, almost nobody wants to team up with her because of how intense she usually is during the sports festival. I dodged the ball with that one. I just have to make sure that I get picked up before everyone else does. I don't want to be left alone with now. It's time for class. Alright everyone, today we're going to be assigning everyone to a sport. Anyone want to go first? Almost all of the students raise their hands as quickly as they can. They're starting at now. <laughs> They're all in fear. They're all quivering and shaking. My best guess is that nobody wants to be her partner. She normally calm and collected, but it's at the sports festival changed into her completely different person. I need to stay calm. <sighs> Harumiya. Yes, yes, I'm here. Sensei completely catches me off guard. You need to decide on what you want to do? Oh yes, three-legged race. Alright, and everyone wants to be her partner? Ishida! <gasps> Alright, three-legged race, Harumiya and Ishida, it is then. Yes, finally, a partner that's not now. I'm sorry now, I love you and I cherish your friendship, but anytime near or during sports festival is the last time I want to hang out with you. No hard feelings, right? I hope. Finally, time for lunch. I I'm still waiting for the for the creepy stuff to come. It's it's it sure is taking its time. Maybe it's like like Doki Doki that it takes a while for you to to get to the spooky part. I walk towards the vending machine. I buy the melon bread. But unfortunately, I don't have enough to buy a drink. Oi! I hear some guys screaming across the hallway. I said no running in the hallways. Relax, dude. I just want to buy a soda. Oh no! Is is the other guys of the of the RM? Oh no! I don't know why I put it with you. You always end up getting into all sorts of trouble and end up dragging me along with you. Sounds to me that you two are gay, but okay. Well, maybe you should chillax and let me wait at your soda. It was your idea, wasn't it? After all, it's not my fault you got rejected now, is it? So shut your mouth. 
Relax, I'm on the side, remember? We made a deal that if she rejected you, I owe you a soda. Reject, reject, girls, enjoy soda. I honestly thought you had a chance, dude. I was rooting for you. I guess. Now, do you want cherry or grape? Some weird kid. Hiro, 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 what? Uh, that's not my name. It's Hiro, Hiro. Hasagawa Takahiro, you dumb skull. I get the feeling that I'm intruding on a very personal conversation. Perhaps you'll go upstairs and eat my lunch alone on the rooftop. Surely now it's too busy obsessing over the sports festival, so it will be best not to bother her right now. Yeah. I thought I'd be alone on the rooftop, but surprisingly, Ishida is here. How did you know I was here? I didn't. Then why are you... Relax, I just wanted a quiet place to eat. Oh, I see. Mind if I sit next to you? No. He looks flustered. By the way, here, he hands you a can of green tea. I was planning on giving you it earlier, but... But... But what? I was too shy. It's, it's for yesterday. Thanks for the melon bread, I really appreciate it. Now that I think about it, he's kind of pale. He gives an awkward smile. Well, he's an attacker after all, right? Oh, that? I just happen to have an extra one on hand. You didn't have to thank me, but thanks for the green tea. I really was craving for one. I feel an awkward silence fill the air. By the way, why did you pick me? I mean, for the three leg raised. Oh, that? If I told him that it was because my best friend kept trying to pair me, okay. My best friend, she can't get intense during sports festival season. And it's a real pain to deal with. To be honest, I'm not really good sports. She just smiles. Me neither. Yeah, I, I can guess pretty much. Hey. I got this crazy idea. Let's win. What? You know, the other day I saw a couple of guys pick on you earlier. I just thought maybe, you know... What? Maybe just maybe if we beat them in a race we could show them who's boss. That's not how guys work, but okay. What do you say? Sure. Great, give me your phone number and settle. My phone number? I eagerly take his phone and add myself to his contacts. I smile. Call me anytime you're free. We'll practice running around the track after school sometime. <laughs> Chiharu, huh? So that's your name? Yep, that one and only. The two of us seek awkwardly in silence. The bell rings. Time for class. After classes were over, I decided to head over to the shoe lockers. Ishida. I wonder how he's doing right now. What do you have? Why do you have a, a poop strap in your phone? That's gross. I check my contacts. I smile to myself. Well, it's time for me to go home now. The next week. It's been a week since I agreed to partner with Ishida for the sports festival. I wonder how he's doing now. Haru! It's now. Oh, hey now. What you doing? Nothing much. How far did you get in the game? I haven't touched it since last week. Oh, come on. You know you have to give it my game back sooner. Okay, fine. I'll finish it this week. I'll give you it two weeks. Wait, why? To give you time to get through all the routes. You know you gotta get through the taku route first to unlock all the other characters. What? Nothing. I don't remember there being a taco character in the game, though. What is she on about? The bell rings. It's a cures game? It's time for class. I ended up sleeping through the entire lesson. Oh snap, I slept through the entire thing. I wonder if I could ask now if I, I could borrow her notes. No. What is it, Harichan? You think I could borrow your notes? No. Ah, why? Yeah, I was borrowing my notes. Why don't you get some proper sleep instead? You're always up until like 2am in the morning. How do you know? You always message me during that time. Whenever you need help with assignments usually. That's cause I usually get my work done at that time. Why don't you just do your assignments in the day instead? I can't focus during the day. Well, it's not my fault you always sleep during class. Ah, oh, come on now. If you lend me your notes, I'll buy you melon bread. I'm kind of tired of melon bread to be honest. A chocolate bread? Hmm. A strawberry? How about strawberry one? 
Then we have a deal. But you gotta promise me you bring it back before school is over, okay? And tell me more about you and Ishidaku. Oh yeah. Today I invited Ishida to run on the track with me. Maybe I should have lunch with him. But then again I gotta catch up with what I missed from class. I guess I'm gonna spend all my lunch copying from Nell's notes. She has a point though. Maybe I really too I rely too much on her. I look at my phone to check the time. I wonder where he is. I'm here! Oh, he has a truck suit. There he is, he looks exhausted. Did he run all the way here? Sorry I'm late. There you are. I hand him a bottle of water. Hey, that's a cute CG. I thought you might need this. It's a bottle of water in case you get thirsty. We're gonna be running all day, so stay hydrated. Just refill it when you're out, there's water fountain over there. Thanks, I guess. I guess. Oh. Hmm? I got something. After running through my bag, I take out the ribbon. I think we should practice our coordination first. All right. That should do it. I tie my leg with the sheets. All right. Ready, set, go. The butterflies fall over. Sorry. Let's try again. Ready, set, go. Click to make progress on the track field. What? Oh no, this is a quicker. What the hell? What the hell is this? It's taking so much effort. No, it goes down if I stop. Oh no, my, my mouse is gonna break after this one. It wasn't doing great before. Come on, Ishida Kun, we can do it! Let's go! You win! Continue. What? That, that, that's weird. <laughs> and, oh no, no, it's, it's like. Uh, uh, okay. Man. You got access to real quick, don't you? Well, it's a good thing that speed isn't important for a trail like race. Still, maybe next time we should try practice running. Maybe we should practice at least three times a week? Well, it's time to get going. That was fun. I had fun too. I look away flustered. Ah, <sighs> look at the time. I gotta get home before it gets too late. See ya next time. Bye. You know, in visual novels and, and anime and stuff, the girls almost get flustered, but they never get flustered in real life. That sucks. I can't believe I said all that. Oh my god, what am I getting so nervous for? It's not like I actually intend on pairing up with him or anything. I should calm down. He is kind of cute. Just a little, I guess. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Ishida is just a friend. Just a friend. There's no way I will fall for an attack. Wow, that's mean. Absolutely no way. I should play some games to get my mana fit. Yeah, that will probably be for the best. I take up the handheld BSB. Okay. After gym class, all the senpais except for my Fura senpai had to go to the hospital for intensive care. A week has passed since then. You are in the school lockers preparing to go home. Oh, what's this? You receive a note in your locker. It's enough to meet someone on the school rooftop? Oh my, is it my secret matter? I have to go meet them. You run up the stairs and rush to the school rooftop. Hey. So can I show you? I have something to ask you. Oh my god, is this a confession? This has to be a confession. I... I... I need your help. The show you feel this point. You see, my friend Matsuro Senpai, he doesn't take the fit very well. And I know we got off the wrong foot, but, foot, but it hasn't come out his room for weeks. I think he's depressed. Do you think maybe you could convince him to come back to class? Senpai looks at you in a pleading manner. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Thanks! We are at Matsuke Senpai's house. Matsuke Senpai... What are you doing here? I got you some chocolates. Everyone at school is worried about you and they are asking for you to come back. Why would you be concerned for a pathetic loser like me? You're not a pathetic loser. 
I am. I lost the race. You tried your best. That's all that matters. They say that the only way to succeed is to know how to fail first. You know what? You're right. No more heading in the dark. I'm coming back to school tomorrow. <laughs> I don't make the greatest comeback ever to just wait. Thanks, Shuharu-chan. Who? Oh, I mean you. Thank you. Wait. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs> he said my name. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That was weird. It was just a coincidence. Oh well, I'm calling it a night. I'll finish this game later. Okay, after half an hour the things are getting weird. Haruhi, Harurin. Uh, what is it this time now? I won. You won what? I won Ikem and Senpai from the Daily Otome Legends Gacha. It's a super rare. Gacha? Oh, come on, Haruchan. You don't know what a gacha is? No, not that. I just didn't know they had a gacha. It's on their app. There's an app? Jeez, you don't know a lot of things, don't you, Haruchan? Anyways, how are things going with Ishida-kun? Great. I mean, fine, I guess. Oh, Haruchan. You just can be honest with yourself, can you? The bell rings. Well, it's time for class. See you at lunch. By the way, don't forget that you still have to buy me that strawberry bread. Click the screen to download during class instead of doing your work like you should be doing. <laughs> But I have to click some. Wait, I click out of the window. No, 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 my bad. What I have to click so much in this game? Is this game made by the by the mouse manufacturer, so I have to buy more mouses? Ah, oh, come on. I wonder what happens if I if I don't click anything. But I have to win this. You win. After class. Harutan. I feel she changes my nickname every time. Have long lunch with me today. You're not going to bother me about the Shida today? Nope. Yes. I'm finally free. We're going to go out the Shida kun instead. Wait, what do you mean by that? Ishida. <gasps> Won't you come have lunch with us? Sure. And just like that, Ishida started having lunch with the three of us. With the three of us? What do you mean the three of us? Like... You're counting me? Oh god, what I have gotten myself into? Well, the view is amazing up here. Do you think it's romantic? Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, what do you guys do up here? Okay, time to think about this question. Okay, so this doesn't make sense. So we bend about our problems. Oh, that sounds deep. So do you guys tell each other secrets and stuff like that, or maybe fortune telling, or maybe you guys are like those edgy middle schoolers that ponder about the meaning of life and talk about pretentious things like how life has no meaning and her inner spirit is a wolf. Hey, my inner spirit is a wolf. What are you talking about? If I had an inner spirit, I would definitely be a unicorn. Unicorns don't exist now. Really? Then prove it. Just kidding, I know they don't exist. I wonder if that was random or it has some meaning. Anyway, we'll spend the time remaining for lunch talking on the rooftop. Sometime later? <laughs> she changes it every time. What's up now? Wanna go to the baseball field today? Sure. Great. Just let me meet someone real quick. Ishida! Why do you hang out with us? Me and Haru are going to the baseball field. Okay, sure. Then it's settled. Come on, let's go. Maybe Ishida is thinking about having a threesome, maybe. Because that's what I'm thinking. And so we'll play at the baseball field until sunset. It was a very fun and eventful today. A few weeks later. Hi, chan It's Naomi. How are things going with Ishida? I'm not sure. 
We've been practicing for a few weeks, but then suddenly it stopped showing up. Is he okay? I'm not sure he hasn't been responding to my messages. The bell rings. I'll talk to you later about it, okay? Now Miss sits back at her desk. Ishida, I wonder if he's doing alright. Is he dead? Hey now. Yeah, Haru? Where do you think we should hang out today? Hmm, maybe go shopping? Nah, I'm broken, I don't have any money. How about the baseball field? Sounds like a plan, but shouldn't we get something to eat first? You're right. How about the burger jump from across the street? Oh, I haven't had one of those in a while. Yeah, me neither. I don't really go out that often, my mom always tells me to stay away from eating fast food. Your mom must really care about you, huh? Huh. Sorry for bringing it up. Oh, don't worry about it. You don't have a mom? That stuff happened ages ago when we were kids, remember? Yeah, we were neighbors back then. I used to visit your house all the time. When your mom would always make sandwiches for us. Yes, my mom cooking was some of the best food I ever had. She didn't like it whenever I ate junk food either. Anyway, we should get going now. Now and I decided to get some burgers before playing at the baseball field. It's kinda weird you, you go to play to the baseball field when you say you're not good at sports, but... It's... It's time to go home. It's getting late. Yeah. We should get going now. You know, before it gets too dark. I had a lot of fun today. Me too. Alright then, see you later, alligator. Now I'm gonna head to the sunset. I should get going. What that shine is looking. Perhaps we'll go visit the shopping district before heading home? I spot a familiar figure coming out of the internet cafe. Ishida? What? What? Where have you been? Everyone's clothes were about you. Where are your glasses? Why are you dressed like that? Why haven't you been responding to my messages? Is she that what ha Go away. I don't want to hear it. You think I like telling around you every second? Just leave me alone. Why haven't you come to school last week? And why haven't you came to the week before that? What's up with that? This entire time you've been skipping school and playing video games in the internet cafe when everyone's worried about you? And who's worried about me? I am! Yeah, right. That made me laugh. Excuse me? The only reason you approached me in the first place was because you thought I was an easy target. Or maybe even worse, you felt sorry for me. Well, I guess what, I'm not some broken plating for you to fix. You know what? You're absolutely correct. You're a sad, pathetic loser. And I did only approach you because I felt sorry for you. Because who will want to be friends with a creepy, surreal glasses that like you? I think we're done talking here. Just leave me alone, okay? Oh no. I shouldn't have said that. Too late. What have I done? Why did he have to say that? Oh my god. He must hate me now. I slunk into my bed frustrated at myself and Ishida. Ah, what am I gonna do? The next day. I, I didn't play the game. Before class. Hey! Good morning, my beloved Harchan. What is it now? You could be a little more enthusiastic. Hesu won an exclusive copy of Atomic Legends. I won it in a raffle. Aren't I the luckiest girl on earth? I'm not in the mood now. Killjoy. Haru, what's wrong? I got into a fight with Ishida. What happened? I almost start to cry just thinking about the events that occurred yesterday. It was just a conversation, come on. After we played at the baseball field, on our way home I saw him. I saw him walking off the internet cafe and... I was just upset and angry. I ended up saying things I shouldn't have said. I'm sure he'll be okay, Haru. Maybe she'll try apologizing. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. I'm sure he didn't just skip school just for the sake of it. Just like how you lash out at him, sure you didn't just because. He was okay. The bell rings. Oh, looks like it's time for class. Anyways, I hope things go well with you and Shida. Bye. After class. It's lonely with Ishida. I wonder what he's doing. I get a notification from my phone. It's a message from Ishida. Come meet me at the baseball field tonight at 7 p.m. Strange. The baseball field is closed by then. Why so late? I thought you'd be here. Oh, hey now. Have you thought about what you were going to say to him? Not yet. But it's strange, you know. 
What's strange? I just got a text from him just now. Hmm? What does it say? He told me to meet him up with the baseball field tonight after school. I see. I wonder why he will message you out of the blue like that. I will know either. Maybe you should meet him. Want me to come with you? It's okay if you don't want me to tag along, just say so. Aren't you going to eat your lunch? I'm not hungry. You're going to get hungry later. You're right. But I just can't bring myself to eat. Still upset about that, huh? Wow, how can you tell? Anyway, let's change the topic to something less serious to take your mind off the stings. My best friend Naomi and I chatted on the bathroom until the end of the lunch. It cheered me up a little. Hum. Well, I have all day until I meet with Ishida. In the meantime, I think I'll go play some games. You're ambushed by a group of thugs. What? Hey! Give us your money. Or else we'll beat you to the pulp. No! Oi! A mysterious figure calls out to save you. No need to fear, the senpais are here. Seem visible and confused. What are you going to do? Defeat you. Mafura Senpai runs by his scarf choking while he tries to fight. Matsuga Senpai drapes and falls on his chin. I can be using only my chin, Kimpats to break his arms. <laughs> the texts are lagging on the floor. You seem visibly confused, but you will not lose your senpai's effort going by and you call the ambulance. Oh, it's already time. I should get going now. Strange. He said he will be here. But where is he? I look at my phone. Hey, I hear some stranger calling me out calling out to me. Who are you? <gasps> no, the strangers from You're looking for Ishida, right? I but who are you? I was only pushed down to the ground. Ow. Were you looking for this? There's a phone in the duck's hand. That's Ishida's. No way. Say, let's make a deal, shall we? I'll make you my personal errand dog and a body gets hurt. Okay, I was after the word personal, I was I was expecting something far worse, but okay. We could do this the easy way or the hard way. And you just niche on us, let's say a certain somebody gets hurt. Deal? Ah, somebody help me. I feel intense pulsating pain in my face. If you make a sound, you're done for, got it? Stop! Stop right there, criminals come! Oh well, it's need the nerd. Let her go. Or else what? Yeah, what are you gonna do? I hear police sirens suddenly ring. What the heck? You call the police? Come on, let's get out of here. The crowd dispersed. Are you alright? Your eye! She had a hang in there. I pass out. Huh? Where am I? I wake up in the hospital. Uh, someone's opened the door. It's Ishida. Oh, you're finally awake. Ishida! What happened last night? And why am I... How did you know I was? You passed out so I took you to the nearest hospital. And you're very confused right now, and if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer. Well... I I'm gonna save... I, I haven't saved in this game. Ask why... Ask Ishida what happened. Ask why he... Has ask why he did he find you? Why are you dressed like that? Okay, don't tell anyone but. I like dressing like this, but I'm too embarrassed to be seen like this by anybody at school. Kinda made me feel cool, haha. <laughs> I'm so lame, aren't I? Anything else? What happened? You were ambushed by a group of dogs, so we called the police. And then you passed out, so we called the ambulance. Why are you saying, why are you saying we? Why are you saying we? So I went with them to check if you were fine. Anything else? Why haven't you been coming to school? A couple of guys noticed that I was hanging out with you. They told me to stop coming to school or else they were gonna mess with you. But I guess they did regardless. I'm so stupid for believing in them. I just didn't want you to get hurt. Anything else? Uh, I think I'm good. Well, I hope you feel better soon. 
I guess I'll see you later. Alligator. I spent the next three days in the hospital. For a punch in the face? The doctor informed me that the reason I passed out wasn't so much my black eye, my black black eye, but because of malnourishment. After each day I went missing, I hadn't eaten anything for three days straight. They say that's what contributed to me suddenly collapsing on the ground. After all, I didn't think being punched in the face alone would be enough to make you suddenly pass out. At least I think so. I have so much makeup work to do when I get back home from school. I'm gonna prepare for the sports festival with Ishita too. We're gonna be so behind and ready to feel overwhelmed. Hi, Dutan. As usual, now greets me as I to class. Are you ever gonna stop with those weird nicknames? No. It's how I express my affection. Right. By the way, what happened to your eye? Oh, uh, that. You just noticed that now? I'm not as perceptive as you, you know? I got ambushed by a crowd of guys, and they punched me in my face so hard I passed out. But luckily Ishida was there and... Wait. How did Ishida know where I was? Oh, I already know that. Wait, what? How? Okay, I might have snooped through your phone while you took a bathroom break. So I decided to snoop through your messages to see how much progress you made with Ishida. I don't stalk her much. Hey, I saved your life, didn't I? I saw a text that seemed kind of suspicious. So I went to the internet cafe you mentioned because I thought he might be sitting there and I saw Ishida there. And I asked him why he asked to meet you at the baseball field. Who knows, maybe it could be a romantic confession. Then he told me that it was impossible because his phone got stolen. Okay. Uh, I thought he was being a Sunder at first. It turns out that he was telling the truth and we both went to find you. Also, that's why he, he said we. Okay. When we saw a crowd of guys, okay. Ishida told me to stay put and make the call while he went to be with some time. By the time the cops arrived, you were already passed out. He stayed up all night looking after you at the hospital just to make sure you were okay. There's supposed to be text here. Just kidding. After class. Haruhime. Translator knows Hime is a suffix for princess. It is pronounced Hime. <laughs> like how they. Oh my god. This reminds me of old. Old, old fan subs. <laughs> Translator notes brought to you by the creator of this game to prevent you from sounding like an alien. Or worse, a weave that can't pronounce Japanese. Just like my older sister. Anyways, back to the game. Wanna have lunch together on the rooftop? Nah. I'd rather stay in the classroom and eat so I can work. Okay. Uh, I I'm, I'm waiting for something to happen in this game. It's been almost an hour and nothing big has happened. Maybe another day when I'm not too busy. I see. Well, if I don't mind, I'm gonna steal Ishida for you for the rest of the lunch. Well, have fun then. Ishida! I wonder what's going through the cutting. Okay. Class. It's the last class of the day. I stare at the clock in hopes that time passes by faster. <sighs> Can this clock be any slower? I stare out the window. Huh? What's going on outside? You see a trio of guys fighting outside the school track field. Ah, give that back. Oh, what's this? Oh my, I didn't know you were into this type of things, Hirora. What is this? Shoujo manga? Translation notes, shoujo manga is typically manga for girls. G give it back. It's not for me, it's for my sister. Oh my, oh my, I didn't know Hirohiro was a hero hero heroine. So you want to get popular with the girls, huh? Honestly, why didn't you tell me that you need a mentor? I'm right here. Ah, give it that back. This is this is so generic, it hurts my soul. I mean, that's the point, of course, but still. I wonder what those three guys are always up to. I stare outside the window until the end of the class. After class. I spot a familiar figure walking on my way to the show lockers. It's Ishida. Ishida, did you lose your glasses again? <laughs> no. Then? Uh, I thought that maybe I would look better with glasses on. Cause... I don't know, I thought you said that you were stupid. But I guess I look stupid either way. About that, I'm sorry I didn't actually mean anything I said to you last time. I was just upset and angry and said things that I shouldn't have. I don't have to worry about your glasses, you look just fine either way with them or off. <laughs> Thanks. He puts his glasses back on after all. Anyway, so you have the tracks. 
I run away as my fifth flesh is completely red. Some time later. <sighs> Exhausted, huh? Yeah. We're gonna have to train extra hard because we are a few weeks behind on the training schedule. To be honest, I don't think at this point we are going to win. You you see that the, the hypocrisy because of Chiharu because he, she didn't want to, to practice with her friend, but she's milking this guy. Oh, nothing. I, I'm not milking in the fun way. By the way, what were you talking about with now on the rooftop? Uh, nothing. Anyway, you see that I continued practicing every day after school at the track fields. One week until the sports festival. I, I, I have the feeling that the school festival is when things are going down, but I'm not sure anymore. That's a strange. Where's now? <gasps> uh, what? Um, what? The, what? Oh, look at that. Your desk is dirty. I wonder Rook of Donut looks so awful. <laughs> yeah, I wonder. I thought somebody might have a funeral, but it turns out it was just you. Look, somebody already put flowers on for you. <laughs> was was I like a victim of bullying? I, I'm not clicking anything, by the way. This is just happening on its own. Okay, so these are the flashing images. Do I have to, to click something? I'm gonna press the spacebar. Haru! Now, what happened to Ishida? She hands me a newspaper and leaves the room. No, I can't believe it. Ishida, he... It's been a month since Ishida passed away. What? No! I still can't believe it though. Just like that, he... And so easily too. They said that he jumped in front of the metro rail. It's been all over the news lately. High school student jumps in front of a train on Monday morning. That's why we need Tawawa. Get to no Tawawa. Uh, the top of it has been haunting me every night for the past few weeks. I can't help but think to myself. Was there something that I could have done? Where did it all go wrong? Why didn't he tell me? Why didn't he just disappear like that? Chuharu. Oh, that's right, I gotta get ready for school. Now, where did I put my phone? <laughs> What's that? It's a blonde. Are you okay? You're bleeding. Don't worry about it. You got to my school, right? Come on, you're gonna be late. Let's get you to the clinic. Hello? Is there anybody here? Nobody? Okay, where are the bandages? Hey, I told you it's fine, it's not a big deal. Why do you have to be so stubborn? You might get an infection if you leave once open with disinfecting them. I guess. You scare. You, 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 you scare. <laughs> what? Do you have to scream my name like that every single time? You sound like a maniac. Do I need a reason to scream out my best friend's name? Stop being so gay, but yeah. We are practically brothers at this point, do you think? Besides, it's fun to say it like that. God, you're so cringe. <laughs> this whole game is really cringe, but in the good way. And who's this? Is this one of your lady friends? You need to stop with that. I have a feeling that these two are close friends. They just say it. This story reminds me of whenever I'm with Naomi. I can't help but... It was Naomi, right? It was Naomi, the, the one that made um, Ishida commits on leave, right? So she she's evil after all. Like I have the f I, I I just have the feeling that she killed it she killed him so we could get like the other roots in real life I don't know maybe. I was walking by and hey yes do you know where the nurse is we've been trying to find her. When it's antiseptics and some bandages he was going the other way here. Oh my did Juice go into another fight again? He yeah, was like this don't worry I'll take care of it you can go to class. Here's a note from me saying that you have an excuse tardy. Uh, okay, thanks. Who are you, the, 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 the school president or something? I guess I'll get going now. 
Okay. I return back to class with excuse now that I got from the guy in the clinic. The teacher looks slightly annoyed and disappointed at the time the reading at the okay. After class. How do do How do Let's say you're not in any clubs, are you? No. Then how about joining the art club? I think I'll take a hard pass. Uh why? Last time you made me join a club, it turned out to be the full of cringe fangirls obsessed with boy idol groups. You told me it was just a music club and it was stupid for believing you. And I know that the art club is filled with girls obsessed with dating sims just like you are. Oh come on, that was middle school. I mean, why not join? Aren't you supposed to be really good at drawing? No, I'm just not really interested in joining any clubs now. Come on, please. You know, I just want to make her mad to see if she kills me or something. Say no. No means no now. Uh, the bell rings. Anyways, I'll see you after class. After class. Sensei told me to carry these papers to the teacher offices. Still though, I wonder why she had to make me carry so many of these by myself. It's towering over my face and it's blocking my field of vision. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. The weird kid. Are you okay? Here, let me carry this for you. Where are you taking this, by the way? The teacher's offices. I see. Because you know, I I, I didn't start interacting with these guys un until that, until Ishida died. All right, that's that. Hey, by any chance do you think you could stop by the disciplinary room after school today? And um, why? I can do me a favor. Um, okay, that's fine, I guess. All right, great then. Bye. The strange kid disappeared in the depths of the hallway as he waved to me goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, what have I gotten myself into this time? And just like that, you forgot about Ishida? Is this the right room? Coming. So, what is that you need help with? So, I heard that you were good at drawing. Where did you hear that from? Naomi. I asked her if she was any good at drawing. She told me to ask you. Wait, how do you know Naomi? She's a good friend of mine. We often talk about stuff together. Anyway, let's get down to business. The door opens. Kaoru, do you think I can copy your homework for tomorrow? Oh, hi Yusuke. I'm in a meeting right now with a fellow student. It's a girl from earlier. Don't mind me, I'm just going to copy down some notes. Yeah, go ahead, I'll have the homework that's over there so you can copy from there. <laughs> okay. Alright, so what is that you need from today? So, I borrowed my friend's manga for a little bit. And I accidentally spilled some tea on the pages as I was reading it. And some of the pages got all blurry and messy. And I tried cleaning it, but I messed up the end of the ink of the pages instead. So I took the cover of the manga and put it on a different manga and gave it back to him so he shouldn't notice. It's only a matter of time before he notices. So, I was wondering if you could help me redraw some of the pages. Can you just, like, get a new copy? Why don't you just print out the pages and stick them back into the book? I can't remember his name. Kaoru! Where is my manga? Yusuke has it. He runs away. Yusuke! Wait, what? What? You didn't tell me I had to click right now! What am I running? I didn't do nothing! Why is he a giant flame? Is he gone yet? No, I think he's coming closer. I heard that. Quick, run. Breathe? What? Don't tell me what to do. Do you think he'll find us here? If I get my hands on you, you're dead meat. He found us. Okay. I'm gonna need a new mouse after this game. <sighs> okay, I think he stopped following us. Um, are you okay? Uh, yeah. 
No, I mean your wound. Oh, uh, that? Yeah, it's fine, don't worry about it. So what happened? Oh, you mean what happened early this morning? I don't into trouble on the way to school, you could say that. Anyway, I gotta go. Maybe she'll join the club thrall. I really don't have anything to do when school is done anyway. I wonder if Nas is still busy with her club activities. Maybe she'll pay a visit. No. Oh, hi, Haru. Why are you in the club room by yourself? Uh, um, it's actually because I wanted to start club by myself, but I never got any members. But that's okay, I'm working on the recruitment posters by myself. Do you want me to help you? Would you? I mean, I will really appreciate it. And so, Mia now spend the afternoon working on drawing the printing poster for the club. After school. If she has grapes, she'll be somewhere here. I have to get home before it gets too late. What are you doing here? That should be my line. Relax, I'm not doing anything sketch. I'm just here to pay respects to an old friend of mine. Me too, actually. I take a glance at the grip. Wait! Did you know Ichida by any chance? <sighs> well, whose old scripts will be this? But yeah, you could say that he used to be an old friend of mine. So you knew him too, huh? We used to be friends in middle school. Still can't believe he did that though. I don't have anything to say. Anyways, it was nice seeing you, but I got ahead of now. He disappears into the sunset. Wait, everyone's disappeared into the sunset every time. Ishida, I wish I could get him to spend more time with you. After leaving flowers on his grave, I had my way home. The next day. Yeah, this game is it's funny and all, but it's been an hour and nothing has happened yet. Harun, yes? Do you think you can go shopping with me after school? Hmm. I'm not sure if I have enough to buy anything. Window shopping, maybe. Don't worry, we're not going to go to shopping for clothes this time. It's my mom's beard and I want to get something special. Alright, I'll go then, but ain't your mom dead? Great, meet me at the train station after school. The bell rings, just in time for class. As usual, after school was over, I head over to the school shoe locker to meet up with Naomi. Haru! Oh, hey! You ready to go? I'm ready when you are! It's nice to hang out with Na now after school sometimes, though I don't really like the train that much, to be honest. It's all squared and full of creepy widows like to harass women. I heard about it on the news. Stalking on the rise. Women and children must be wary on trains. Watch out for suspicious men who harass women. Rush hour is the worst though. Hundreds of people cramming into a small compact space just to make it to work on time. I don't know how office workers do it. If I wear my bed, I will suffocate on my way to work. Haru. We are here. Let me just drink some water. That's it. We are here faster than expected. Oh, our train will arrive in like 10 minutes. I guess I'll just be on the lookout for until then. For the train, I mean. I spent the next 10 minutes talking with Nan. Wait, isn't it here where, where is she died? died? Listen to her talk about Shoujo Manga. I hope she doesn't recommend me to read it as well. It's here, alright. Uh huh? What is this feeling? I can move. It's okay, I just need to get on the train. Yes, the train. There's nothing wrong with trains, right? People ride them all the time. Ishida, why? Get on the train? What is the correct one? I wonder. Uh, the middle one. Get on the train? Get on the train. Are you sure? What? No, I don't want to run. I want to get on the train. Run. Okay, that's 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 a jump, but I guess I have to do it. Yusuke, hey, you ended up bumping into someone. It's Yusuke. Hey, are you okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. You're shaking. Haru. Why did you run like that? I was worried about you. Haru, who's this? 
Oh, don't worry about me. She just happened to bump into me and I want to check if she was alright. Are you a friend of hers? Anyway, what happened? We were supposed to go shopping at the mall together this afternoon, but when the train arrived, she suddenly ran away. The train, huh? Do you think she's going to be alright? I'm not sure. Come on, Harold, let's go home. We can go shopping another day. Uh, okay. Anyway, thanks for letting, looking after her for me. Yeah. Don't mention it. Is this guy going to die next? Speechless, I fell asleep into my bed with a single thought in my mind. A few days later. Okay, so things are happening now. Turns out I joined the art club, but now after all. So, Chi Haru chan. So you finally called me by my name, huh? Oh, come on, don't be like that. Anyways, do you think anyone's going to come to the club after they see the posters we put up? I mean, it's already been three days, and so far no one has come. Oh, come on, Haru, try to be a little more optimistic. People will come eventually, it's just a matter of time. The door suddenly opens. Hey. Um, hi? Haru, Haru! Look, we got a new member for the club. See, I told you somebody will come after seeing the posters. What is he doing here? Oh, hey, do you think it's okay that I join this club? There's also somebody else that I would like to have to join too. Sure, sure, sure. And who is the other new member that will be joining us today? Hello. Oh, it's... Akari? Oh, who is this? She's so cute. This is my little sister, Akari. She's shy to try to be gentle with her. Uh, can't she join too? Uh, of course you can join. Let me splash real quick. I'll be right back. So, what brings you here? Ah, uh, that. So my mom asked me to look after my sister after she gets back from school. She's been causing a lot of trouble lately. What kind of trouble? Let's just say we caught her doing something suspicious. Hmm. That sounds sketchy. Hey, I'm here, you know. I'm back. Um, so I think before we start, we should learn to trust ourselves. Hello, why don't you start? Uh, me? Yes, you. You need to be the example. Yeah, <sighs> fine. Hi, my name is Chiharu, but I normally go by Haru. Uh, not many of those were nicknames that Naomi gives me. Hey, it's an expression of love. Whatever. My hobbies are drawing, music, and cooking. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, Akari is next. I'll go first. Hello guys, my name is Yusuke. That's pretty much it. Hey, that was really an introduction. It was good enough for me. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go next then. Hello, my name is Naomi. My hobbies are drawing, fan art, reading fanfics, playing video games, and reading manga. So, a, a generic otaku girl, okay. That's good. You could say I like cooking, baking, sports, piano. And I recently got into dating scene that I think you should really try. An amazing story, the characters are very interesting, the art is absolutely amazing, and the music is breathtaking. Okay, now... We're not trying to be here all day, you know? Sorry. So that leaves Akari next, huh? Akari, why don't you introduce yourself? She kinda looks like a boy, but... Hi. Shy, huh? Well, that's okay, you can introduce yourself later. And now let's move to the club activity. And so the four of us drew into sketchbooks until the day was over. Alright, I'm heading off to for today. Let's meet again in the next week. Bye. Now me heads off into the sunset. Oh yeah, I forgot to give it to you. It's a strawberry bread. Thank you for the other day. Hey, I forgot to give the strawberry bread to The other day? Oh, the school nurse's office is and stuff. But I think I'm gonna be needing another favor from you. I know it's sudden, but do you think you can look after my sister? Uh, okay, I guess. Wait, how old is she anyway? She's wearing a middle school uniform and she probably doesn't attend this school. I know. Akari. Do you think you could get me my number for me? I left in the classroom. Okay, sure. So, I probably don't have much time to say this, but... One day Akari came home with a bag full of money. But we don't know where she got it from. So my mom's been asking me to look after her first her school to make sure she doesn't get... <laughs> when we asked if she was getting involved with anything suspicious, she said, I'm back. Akari. I'll talk to you about it some other time. Okay, that's really weird. Yusuke disappears into the horizon with Akari. I should get going too. Home. Okay.
really worried about the stuff in this game. Uh, we're just talking about stuff. Okay, Mr. Suspicious. Something falls onto the floor. Ottoman Legends? I didn't know you were into romance visual novels for girls, how do? I won't say that he's into it. That's an understatement. He's what we like to call the Ottoman Master. You don't have to say that out loud, Naomi. You're embarrassing me. Since when do you ever get embarrassed? Anyways, I played for the tenth time, but it's just a small hobby of mine. The door suddenly opens. I can't remember his name. Kaoda, do you have any duct tape? I think I broke my... Naomi? Oh, hi, Kaoda. Hiro? Uh, what's the matter? Do you need fixing my brand new house? I'm sorry, but I don't think a duct tape can fix it. But you're probably not smart enough to figure that one, aren't ya? Yes, Naomi. You don't have to be so mean to Hiro as a human being too, you know? Sorry, I was only stating facts. Oh yeah, it was Hiro. Sorry, am I interrupting something? No, 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 come in. You said that you need something, Hiro? Ah, yes. So I was doing paper when suddenly the chair collapsed on the ground. I not fed the chairman and he told me this <laughs> joke. Uh, is, that, is that a joke on purpose? So far, I'm like, okay. Wait. So, do you need my duct tape? Yes. So that you can fix your chair? Yes. Because your back is hurting you? Yes. From doing paperwork on the floor? Yes. What do you do your paperwork in the classrooms? Um, excuse me, but I think I'm going to leave early. Thanks for inviting me. Okay. Well, see you later, I guess. Bye now. Bye 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 bye. bye. Goodbye bye bye, guys. Bye. Goodbye. You okay, hero? Yeah, come on, cheer up. You know, uh, I know this is like a joke visual novel and stuff, but Jesus Christ, they are talking a bunch. My head is starting to hurt. You mean that super cringe went? Yeah, yeah. Let me out of that mess. What's wrong, Haru? Nami, what's up with you today? Oh, you mean Hero? I don't meet him because uh, you probably don't know him. He's what I like to call the Atomic World at Sundere. What's a tsundere? Oh, how do I knew you were so clueless, but I didn't know you were that clueless. A tsundere, a tsundere. A tsundere, it's all about absolutely not good. Just know that there is not a good tsundere. They are all annoying. <laughs> they all look like jerks and act like they hate you, but in actuality, they simply have feelings for you. They have no social skills and they don't know how to treat you right. All they do is treat you like trash they exercise when you hate their guts. That explanation sounds a bit biased, don't you think? Just know that at Sunday it's absolutely not good. And I don't know to tell you hey, I'm gonna but if you get Sunday right, I might have to reconsider friendship. Translation notes that Sunday is I actually have no idea how to explain this. The bell rings. Oh the bell has rung. I guess it's time for class. We all talk in the club room afternoon. Yeah. We, the same thing has been happening for like two weeks. I'm sick of it. It's after school. How long is this game gonna be, by the way? In the club room with now and Akari, but just gets now we're for the final. Where is Jessica? He said that he got a part-time job and he can be late. Oh, really? Did he really just flick on us? Well, I guess it's a girls only club today. Hello, my fellow classmates. I'm here for the drawing competition. I hope that you don't mind that royal little friend of mine. Or I'll have to be so dramatic and end up making a fool of yourself. And then you'll me along with you. I'm only here because you promised my strawberry bread. Why is everyone promising each other strawberry bread? I don't recall any of us being classmates with you. And what do you mean by art competition? This is the first time I'm hearing about this. Oh, hi, Kaoru. And Hiro. Anyways, what are <laughs> Well, no one likes Hiro. I always wanted to check up on you guys. Kaoru got bored with paperwork, so I decided to bother you guys to kill the time instead. Hey, you didn't have to phrase it like that. Well, anyways, today we're drawing portraits. So everyone strike a pose and let them take a picture of each other, you guys. Then we should pause for the portrait while somebody else is drawing it, though. Ah, oh, come on, do you really expect to just sit in the same spot for several hours? We have to this thing called, you know... Technology? I guess. Alright then. Let's get started. Sometime later. Alright everyone, time is up. Show me what you got. Kaoru, let me see your portrait. What did you draw? Oh, we're drawing portraits? Let me see, let me see. <sighs> Kaoru, this isn't even a portrait. You did a drill of Matsuka Senpa from Atomic Legends. Sorry. Chihari, you never disappoint me. What did you draw today? Yourself. Hello, this is a portrait of yourself. Hey, you never told we can draw ourselves. Fair point. Akari, what did you draw today? Let's see. 
nothing. Akari, you drew nothing. There's a blank piece of paper. Did you pay attention to anything I said today, Anna? Sorry. Well, I guess that's it for today's activity. Wait, what did you draw? No, I mean... Okay, that's it for today. Okay. Hello, I'm going to be heading out now. Have fun with a carry for me. And just like that, now Miss suddenly disappears. Um, hey, you doing alright? Oh dear, I'm not exactly sure how to interact with a middle schooler. I didn't do it. I swear I didn't do anything wrong. What are you talking about? You okay? Whatever you just can say, don't believe him. What did you just say? That I took money from suspicious people. Uh, do you want to talk about it? My friend told me to do it. She paid me to do her humble for her. I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have done that. I think you should tell your brother that. He deserves to know, don't you think? Yeah. Is that what's wrong you today? Come on, let's go home. I can leave you. Okay. okay. Bye -bye -bye. I care since a bit him around other people. It reminds me of time when I was in middle school. I wasn't so good at talking with people either. It's easier to warm up to people if there's less people around. I have a feeling Jessica is gonna take a while to finish work. Is there any place you wanna go today? Uh, the convenience store. That's where my brother works. Alright. It should be somewhere around here. It's a notification. It's Naomi. How are you doing? What? I end up accidentally dropping my phone onto the ground. But as I frantically try to pick up and check the screen for any cracks. Oh, thank goodness, it's safe. Akari? Akari was nowhere to be found, but then... Get off me! Let me go! As soon as I hear the scream, I turn around and... Oh my god. N now it gets serious. Okay, so someone it's gonna... I run the extent of my hand to carry on this attempt to save her. I wake up in a strange empty room. I was left out to a chair by some kidnappers. And it appears that the man that threw me here left ages ago. After some struggle, I managed to get the blindfold off. Oh no. You know, I think maybe I'm gonna have to put a warning on this game at the beginning of the game. Where am I? Drip, 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 drip. I hear the sound of water slightly beat against the ground. As I avert my eyes away from the floor, I find myself in a damn room with black puddles and the concrete scar across the ground. Ah! Uh, who was that? Was that a caddy? Oh my god! How could I forget I carried that ban? She was being taken away. I have to go save her. But who did I get this rubs off for me? There you are! Come on, let's get you out of there! Yusuke walks me to the room with broken glass bottles in his hand, using the charms of the edge and fasten my restraints. There you go. Yusuke, how are you here? Now it's not a time to think about this. You can't start now, right? We have to hurry. Akari must be here somewhere. Um. So far I haven't been able to find a way out of here. Try to see if you can find anything useful. It's a rope. It's a chair I was tied to. A clot on the ground. A bottle. Some paper clips. A mattress. Hmm, that's not, that's not good. A box and a box cutter. And there's a flashlight in the box. It doesn't seem to have batteries, I guess I'll take it for now. And the flashlight just in case. Okay, that was... I don't need to go in there anymore. It's too dark to see, I need to find a light somewhere. You rip the mattress with a box cutter. Ah, oh, what's this? There's some old devices and other junk stuff into the mattress. An old camera. Oh, it has batteries. Okay. The door is locked. Wait. 
What? You found a door? Oh, it's locked, you say? Try to see if you can find any case lying around or something. Well, have a better luck if you found something to pick the lock or whatever. Okay. Can I just pick it with the paper clips? But I have the paper clips. Ain't paper clips enough to. You found some paper clips? Great. Now we can look pick the door. We're lucky and I hope it looks okay. The rope. My cloth on the ground. A bottle, it's not useful. Okay. Okay, let's go. How could you be so careless? I'm sorry. We're supposed to sell the bodies. Organs are worth a fortune nowadays. And you had to mess it because you're careless mistake? Organs don't just grow on trees, you fool. Oh no. Get lighter. We have no choice. Burn the building, tell everyone to evacuate the building in five minutes or else. Okay. Wait, how am I going to get everyone? There's like 40 of us and I don't know where everyone is. What happens if everyone doesn't get out in time? Heck, if I care. They cannot burn in the fire for all I care. I'm getting the gasoline. We are burning the evidence. If anyone asks what happened, say okay. Okay, I think I'll go the ropes off. Akari can't stand? Oh, thank god. It's, it's safe. Fire! It's fire! We gotta get out of here, quick! Using the, the CG. This is a little carry and turn. Okay. A cut is not even here. I grew up with a memory past the house. Okay, I think it's safe now. Eventually, we were able to find the stairs. Unfortunately, however, on the way down, a large portion of the stairs had already collapsed. But luckily for us, I had brought some rope with me before we left. Wait, I had the rotor star. Okay, this changes if I don't pick the rope. We just about to climb down. The railing broke off along with the rope. Run, he said. I'll find another exit, he said. I'll catch up with you guys later, he said. We ran until we reached the outside. And we waited and waited. We waited and waited until the police arrived. We waited and waited until the firemen arrived. We waited and waited. We just can never show up. The police found him on the ground besides the burning building. They said that the suspect he jumped out of the window in a desperate attempt to escape from the fire. He hit the ground too hard. Now he's unconscious. I didn't expect things to end up like this. Why? Why do the people I care about end up getting hurt? Jessica. Ishida. Why? Jessica root ending 2-3. Uh, oh, so that was the ending. Okay. So somehow I ended in Jessica Root for some reason. Okay, that was weird. Uh, okay, okay, I'm gonna. I have to be honest, that was a kind of weird, like, rushed ending. Um, okay, uh, what can I say about this game? Uh, this is a weird one to, to review, you know. Ultimate Legends. It, it started kind of funny. But it, it's like it's trying to be a bunch of things at the same time. It's trying to be funny and it's trying to be edgy and it's trying to be cringe on purpose and it's trying to be deep at the same time. But it's like it doesn't do any of those things, right? I mean, I, no, wait, that's wrong. It doesn't do any of those things perfectly. So it just feel, it just feels like half baked for some reason. Like 
it should focus on one of or two of those things, not all of them. Because I was having like a lot of fun with the with the attacker route, with this guy's route. It was really fun the starting of the game. I was expecting like some um, paranormal shenanigans and stuff like that. But then after this guy dies, it just you you have some cool scenes, right? Like when she sees the the flower base on the on the desk. That's a really cool scene. And uh, when you go to the to the train and you have these traumatic flashbacks, that that's cool too. That that's also really cool, right? But I wish the game was uh, a little less silly and a little more like that, because otherwise I can't really enjoy it that much. Uh, also, I don't really like any of these guys. Like I like this guy and I like this girl and I like the protagonist, but I don't like any of these guys. So maybe I'm not a good match for the game. It's not a bad game by any means, but it's information. Okay. So, yeah, uh, Otome Ladens, right? Not my favorite visual novel I play so far, but it's also not the worst. I, I, I feel like if you enjoy this kind of games, like this kind of silly um, meta games, you're gonna enjoy them. Uh, I, I'm not particularly fond of this um, cringe on purpose stuff. Uh, and I even I enjoyed the game. So if you like these things, I, I'm sure you're gonna like it a lot. Um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you, developer, for making the game. I will see you guys in another in the game or stream. Thank you for watching and goodbye.